Hello everybody and welcome back to Final Fantasy XII Where there's a fly And I don't, I don't usually have issues with flies But these two that are in my room have been landing on me for days And I, next time I finally get to Walmart I'm buying some fly stuff You know? Oh but keep landing on my forehead! <laughs> anyway Why is this game so loud? What have I done? What have I done to deserve this? Anyway, what are we doing? We are, let's see, I looked at... Oh, it said it before. We're trying to get back to that guy. It just said it, where did it say? There we go. Gotta go back to Balfenheim and see if Red Oss knows anything. Because apparently we have to listen to Vaughn even though he's an idiot. Yeah, uh, and not that I'm I'm also an idiot because I have no idea. And why is this oh my gosh, this flies in my face. I don't know how to get out of here. Wish me luck. Haha, <laughs> so apparently <laughs> uh I thought this was the device that we clicked on to get into the heart area. That we were running around in on like the floaty uh, bridges. No. This is apparently by this ye return to the gate of earth by other means return ye back to this place. Uh, anyway. <laughs> I didn't go that far but I thought I tried to go back out the other way and it was like hey you're back in the heart place and I was like that's not where I want to be. We're outside. We haven't seen the outside in ages. This fly is gonna drive me insane. All right, I'm ruined now. Everything, everything's happening at this speed <laughs> from now on. Oh my goodness gracious! If I had teleport stuff, that would be nice. Let's actually see. Oh, not that. Oh my gosh, it's way over there. It's way over there. Oh my gosh, I don't need, can we get, can we get to there from here? No, I don't think so. This didn't have a shop of any sort. I'm just gonna run. I don't know. <laughs> I don't have teleport stones. And I'm not an expert at this game. Uh, uh, back out, back out. There's like a whole section of this game, like a whole quarter of it that I haven't even touched. I am hoping we're gonna flee. Yeah. I am hoping that, um. I can't. Wow, there are dinosaurs now in here? There were not dinosaurs in this snowy place before. Um, I am hoping, sorry, that um, I can finish this before Baldur's Gate 3. Oh, jeez. Yeah. I would love to be able to finish this before Baldur's Gate 3. Because I've been playing this for ages, and I think it'll be one of the more successful games that, like, not successful necessarily, but, like, successful in that, like, I was away from it for a while, and then I came back to it. Oh my goodness. Oh my. Ah! Ah! We're not- we're gonna die. Okay, sweet. This, I know this part is empty, and the next part has the stone. Oh, I just checked. I was like, I can't fly straight to... Whatever it is, Belfenheim. But apparently, it looks like I have to take the Rabanastra line to Bujerba. And then, oh no, sorry, not Bujerba, I was looking at the wrong one. To Nalbana. And then from Nalbana to Belfenheim. It's just like real life where you have to make a, con a connecting flight. That's hilarious. I actually think that's actually pretty funny. I, like, I don't mind that at all. Well, this is interesting. I think I've only done this like once, and it was part of the uh, it was part of the main quest. 
don't think I've ever... Well, I probably have, but it's been a while. I picked leisure, not private. On a mingle. Oh! Oh, you can actually, like... <laughs> is... We have cabins available should you wish to retire for the remainder of your journey. And please let me know if I may be of any service. <gasps> oh, we get to actually fly. <laughs> I shop taken in the sky now. I'd like to rest in a cabin. Koopa, I'm not having any luck finding one. What the? <laughs> You're an idiot. Where are they? You mean to rest until we arrive? The cabins are right this way. Through the sky saloon. Give your name to the chief steward and she'll have a room prepared for you. Oh, we never looked in there. We thought they might be up on the deck. Thanks for the help. You're right that I shouldn't call you out. It's an honest mistake. Have I done this before? I don't think I have. I thought that said romantics, and I was like, well, where's your other one if there's two of you? <laughs> uh, no. Romantics. So, like, oh, that's eh. Okay. Okay. I like that, actually. I like that a lot. <laughs> Oh, that's a really good play on words. <laughs> Easy to let your guard down aboard these airships, but danger's always lurking even here. First rule of adventure is to keep you- Yeah, they're like nomads, essentially, but they're called romantics. They're like, you know, the roaming and like how like the capital R romance, the adventure, the passion of travel. Oh, I love that. I need to remember that, and I'm gonna like put it on a sticker or something. We travel the world seeking adventure. That's our leader standing over by the window, grim, strong, just like an adventurer should be. No. Adventurers should be full of life, and joy, and love. And unless he's also kind and compassionate like Aragorn, I don't want to have anything to do with broody, broody guts over there. I hope we can help. Hi, adventure on the sands. That guy looks like both a year, but younger in like the judge form of him. Can, will you sell me? Oh my gosh, these are finally these people. No! Really? You Are you a shopkeeper? Oh my gosh, there's no teleport stones. Your greatest enemy is your own carelessness. The world teems with trouble. Never know when it might come knocking. Oh, you are grimdark. I like his design, though. Oh my gosh, look at this Moogle holding on to the edge of the counter. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. Look at his little face. Ooh. I can't handle it. That's so cute. Oh my gosh, if I go too far, the camera freaks out. Oh my, look at it. It's talking, it's like having a conversation. Most of them, not most of them, I've seen a lot of them hover. I thought they could just hover. I think they can, I don't know. But look at it, the legs. Oh my gosh. Uh, uh, uh. Give me. Yes. I'm gonna buy so many. I don't know what this is. Oh, for Chocobos, to give him a buzz. Okay, so it's like catnip. <gasps> we can go on deck. Oh my gosh, this is so fun. I don't, if I did this before, I don't remember. It's a good thing sometimes to have a short term memory. You get to re enjoy things. Why does this person have a smiley face? Can't find me friend anyway. You don't suppose I got on the wrong airship? That'd be a fine how you do, wouldn't it? Or do you like do you like does your friend have a smiley face on the on the chest too? <laughs> oh, so a racist woman. You think it's because of the reconstruction in Albana? All these Sikh and Bang got on board. I mean, it's not helping me relax. I'll say that. You know what helped me relax is if I threw you overboard. Did I, like, I, I'm like, did I ask? But I kind of did. I poked her. But it's like, who just says that to somebody? Like, you don't, that you don't know. Like, if you know you're with a bunch of racists, I guess you could say that. But like, who says that to a stranger? It's like, excuse me. 
What is wrong with you? Leave me be. I'm in no mood for talk. I have a touch of air sickness. Ooh, okay. Well, like, it looks like that one's probably, a, uh, an air, like, a migrant worker, but, like... Not all of them. Do you have a smiley face on your chest? No? Okay. Like, it's just the assumption, right? Where she's like, oh, they all must be here for physical labor. It's like, some of these people could be merchants, for all you know. They could be, like, landowners. They could be any anything. Boonswoggle... <laughs> Wait, Boonswoggle Bookkeeper. I thought I'd contract to be a keeper of books, but somehow they charged... They changed the agreement and expected me to do heavy labor at the fortress. I don't know how, but they cheated me. I can't work out under the sun like that. I won't. What was I to do but run and hide? Oh, okay, so you're just telling me that you're... Authorized? I was like, what's, what's it beeping at me for? This person is just, like, telling me that they're on the run. Had the most vivid dream. I was thrown into the dungeons at Nalbana. My body wasted away nothing ever since I've walked the true path on my mother's soul. Just thinking on that dream is enough to keep me honest. Okay, that way. Trouble. I, I thought the head was down. I was like, they look like they're upset. No one ever said it would be easy to earn a living, but there are limits to what a man can take. How many times have I left the cruise in Nalbana? How many times have I gone dragging myself back? Man can't live without Gale in his pocket. Okay. You're unattended. Uh, next to a railing, and that's not okay. There should be like a that caution sign should say, "Don't leave your children unattended." Oh my gosh, you guys were on a freaking airship! This is like not supposed to be the highlight of this episode, but like I, <laughs> this is like this is so cool. We're on an airship. I love these kind of stories. I love it. You've heard of the door, the highborn, I presume, the epic tale of romance, an intrigue set against the backdrop of Nalbana Fortress. To think I'll soon walk the halls and byways of the novel, I cannot wait. I know that there are like pilgrimages essentially that you can do that are like set based on novels or like where authors walked when they were like constructing a novel or whatever. Never done that. I almost thought about, well, I, I did think about it, but I almost did a, um, an Edgar Allan Poe one. When I was younger, oh, but that's the East Coast, and I'm not particularly fond of the East Coast. Can I go? I think I think the only other place to look is the uh, is the rooms. Do I gotta? Oh, oh, this is the saloon. Oh, I can talk to people in here, and then this is probably the chief steward. I don't know. You're one of them. See, this guy's a merchant. I feel like this one's face is shorter. Yeah. Is that... Am I crazy? I feel like there's... I've never really noticed, but I feel like almost there's two different kinds of... Benga? This one's got, like, a shorter snout, and the other ones, I think, have a longer one. But maybe that was just in the um, in the cutscene with those Banga way, way, way back. Um, that tried to uh, capture Balthier. They had lo much longer faces. Friend of mine sent up to Nalbana, a petty offense. I ought to have been able to pay a fine and be done with it. Turn of ill luck. Luckily, he managed to get out somehow, so I'm toiling away last time I was passing through Nalbana. Better and rotten in a dungeon. True, true. An Albina, my good man. Am I? I'm underage. I am underage. Truth be told, I don't have fond memories of that place. I just crossed the desert. It's not a guild in my name. Barely made it there alive. Why? Why is the bartender spilling their soul to me? Usually it's the other way around, where it's the, the patron who spills their soul to the bartenders. Bartenders and hairdressers and massage therapists, I feel like, should get like a certificate in psychology because of how often they're almost like used as a sounding board. <laughs> for issues that people have. A pretty girl found me, brought me a skin of the finest water I'd ever drunk. Like an oasis on my lips it was. Oops. Are these like guards, but like informal? I feel like they're like a little more informal. Now but I'm getting hot, but he, I can stand if there's guilt to be had. It's this dungeon talk what has me worried. I mean, really, dungeons? Who ever heard of a city with dungeons? Straight out of the Mummer's Farce. That, I hope I don't regret this. Oh, so maybe dungeons aren't common, but Nalbana definitely has dungeons. 
What is it you want? We're in the middle of a personal and rather important conversation. Are you hitting on him? Get lost, why don't you? You're bad. Yeah. Oh, okay, I thought she was talking to me, because didn't it say Chief Steward? When I was talking to her, when I clicked her? Maybe I, don't, I wasn't paying attention to when, I guess, I guess this guy was talking, so he was the one being a jerk. I was like, oh my gosh. <laughs> like, why, why was she being mean to me? But it's him. He's a prick. Rand, he's a passenger. Mind your tongue. I apologize for my companion's behavior. We have cabins available if you'd like to rest until we make port. Would you like me to show you to a cabin? Who's this Rand? Oh, are we gonna have a, are we gonna have a thing? No one, truly, just a gentleman, and I use the term loosely. Who does not know when enough is enough? Okay, so he's harassing you. Enough is enough, ha, will you listen to her? And, and I tell you, you defy all reason. What sane woman, oh my gosh, I knew, I knew it. What sane woman would decline a proposal of marriage from a man of my birth, stature, and comes an obvious charm. What is this, a Jane Austen novel? Can your mother really mean all that to you? I've told you a thousand times. You must forget these people back in old Arcades. Forget my own mother, the mother who raised my sister single-handedly after my father died in the war? I would never marry a person like you. How many times must I tell you? The drama on these ships. Oh my. You seem to share your sister's dislike of the noble house, Lucio, but what grudge could you possibly harbor against us? Oh, maybe it's the fact that you... I'm gonna guess that, like, a company that was, um in charge, like running like a factory or something that her mom worked at and like worked her to the bone or like didn't take care of her, just some capitalist enterprise. The other option is that one of them was the commander of the military unit that the father was in when he died. And he was just like a pompous fool running the company and got everybody killed. Okay, let's see, a war could be totally wrong. You and your okay, it's just it's just his personality. <laughs> he's like, how? He's like, you can't have a grudge against my house. She's like, no, you're just you're just a moron and you're insufferable. You yourself. <laughs> you and your brothers are among the most vulgar men I've ever met, and I've known many vulgars. Yeah, you would in this kind of job, having to deal with people all the time, using your father to find out where we work. Speaking of work, I'd better get back to it. If you would kindly take your leave, I have a proper passenger to attend to. He should be thrown off the ship. I mean, I get that his family is rich, but, and like, you know, oh, he pays for a ticket, but like, the employees have like a right, like, to like not be harassed in the workplace. Like, some companies don't like think about that. Like, some companies don't care, and they're like, no, 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 we can't make the customer upset. It's like your employee's the one who has to be here all the time. Like, if your employees don't feel safe, they're gonna ski daddle. Yes, yes, you are passengers. He looks like Bosch, if Bosch was raised to be a prick. An idea comes to mind. Might I interest you in a game of sorts? If it's a game for her affections, my guy, I'm not playing. She's not, she's not a trophy. Oh, he's gonna play a game with her. At this game, I have a hard time telling who they're talking to. What manner of game? Last year, for your mother's name day, you and your sisters each get sent her a gift you'd found along the rats you work. Yes. What? This guy's a stalker! Like, he already, she already said that he freaking, like, used her, his, his father's connections to figure out where she worked. And her sisters. But, like, he's, like, he's a creep. He's, like, got people spying on her to know this kind of stuff. What of it? This year, I propose that you each gather a flower for your mother, and that this boy here informs each of your sisters of the arrangement. If he can deliver the message to every one of them, my brothers and I will abandon all hope of marriage to you and your sisters. Why do you want to marry them? Like, just because they're pretty, or because they're elusive? Like, do they have, like, I don't think that, you know, coming from a single mother, being raised in old Arcades, which is that, like, slum area, that they like have any connections or anything unless they're like part of like an air quotes old bloodline or something. Absurd, you expect a perfect stranger, so I was mixing up the voices, you expect a perfect stranger to willingly go from airship to airship delivering this message of yours? She has a point, six ships, six sisters, that's a lot, I have four. Quite a lot of work for someone we don't know. Better to forget the whole business. And me, I'll begin making the necessary prep. My gosh, if I do nothing else in this game, I'm gonna go to every single one of these airships and I am going to tell each sister so that they can escape. 
I'm sorry you've gotten involved in this. Yeah, Vaughn's an idiot, too. He's probably sitting here, like, with a dumb, stupid look on his face. If you do see my sisters on the other airships, perhaps you could show them a letter for me. They're chief stewards, like myself. Also, if she's being harassed as badly, like, the, literally the guards that are right there should, like, drag this guy off and, like, lock him in a room. Oh, my gosh. Oh, he's such a creep. You see that? Such a creep. Oh, like, legit. I have heebie-jeebies. These visions of you, like the guys who walk up to you and are like, "Oh, what are they? What is what is the stereotype? What is it that they say?" Um, like I've seen that we are destined to be together or something. Like walk up, like I've seen you in a dream, or something, and like or like like some sort of like destiny or like hand of God type thing. And it's like, no, <laughs> no go away. <laughs> I actually had a woman do that to me, but it was the mother of a guy that I went on a date with once. Many, many years ago. It was nice enough. But I, not, I'm not in, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm not, I was, no, and that's all of it. Anyway, apparently the mom, she met me that night just because, like, I don't remember why we had to, like, drop something off at the house or something, and, like, I knew his aunt, and, like, I don't know, it was just a whole thing. So we dropped something off the house, and I talked to his mom for a little bit, and then, like, my mom told me later that, um, the, the, his mom had told my mom that she was like, as soon as I saw her standing there, I knew she was destined to be my daughter-in-law. I just felt it. And I was like, I gotta run so fast. <laughs> it is time to go. And I do feel really bad, but I ghosted that guy hardcore. Like, never met up again. Like, or I, I think I said a couple things to him. I didn't want to be like totally mean, but I'm a, I'm a coward. I'm a huge coward. And I ghosted the guy. And I was just like, like, I said a few, like, nice things sometimes when he'd respond to me, but I never could meet up again, and I was like, nope, 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 not doing that. I, pr the way I am now, I worked very hard to get to this point. <laughs> Footloose and fancy free, traveling where I want, doing what I want. I have no interest in being tied down. <laughs> Uh, yeah, oh, we already talked to this guy. Dang, okay, no, I, I actually, there's, I talked to her for a reason. I wanted to get a room. They are up to the challenge presented by the Notorious Brothers of House Lersho. Uh, yes, please. Vaughn's just, how both that year would have been able to solve that situation, like, perfectly. Like, 100%. He would have, like, potentially, like, just charm the pants off of everybody. And I don't necessarily mean that in a sexual way. Just I think he's would have ratcheted his charisma up a notch. Or he would have made the guy feel like an utter moron. I don't know if it's possible with a guy like that. I think he just like has like this impenetrable shield of thinking he's infallible. Like guys like that, right? But I think he could have worded something to get him to leave her alone. And now I need to find my connecting flight. This is actually, I actually like this. Like I realize it could maybe get like old and like it's like, I just want to go like, you know, all at once. But this is actually kind of fun. <gasps> oh, I can talk to the sister here. Leisure. Okay, I won't run around too much maybe, but we'll see. I'm enjoying the airship stuff. Yeah, if I need to make a connecting flight, it's, she's like, I have six sisters, but I'm like, but I have, I have to talk to two people to do, like, to fly anywhere. Well, to fly, I guess, far away. Because it makes sense. We're, the Revan Ashtray is, like, on the opposite side of the map from this Balfenheim port or wherever. So it makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you, thank you. The East Evilist Company reminds me of the East India Company, and I just listened to an audiobook that just tore into the East India Company. At least in the last half, it was like a history of India, and of course the whole, you know, colonial section is going to be included, which was always super rough to hear. Uh, yeah. What, you're just gonna, you're just gonna take this, this guy's like, I'm gonna raise him right. You can't just take children. You can't, you can't just pick up stray kids and keep them. Did you find him on this flight? Or did you find him elsewhere? 
Oh, you are an Imperial. So maybe not like a like a guard, but just like an off-duty Imperial. Oh, I was like, this whole thing is full of pirates, but it may not full of them, but there's a lot of pirates. But it makes sense if they uh if we're heading to Valvenheim, which is uh Oh my gosh, where it's, it's a pirate place. Oh my gosh, Chocobo! A fine Chocobo looks at you, fierce determination in its eyes. Thank well, thank you for blessing me. I found this black that's black. I was gonna call it like light gray bordering on white. Where did it come from? This woman is like upset. <laughs> She's like <gasps> She's just following it around. That's so funny. This guy's like, I wonder if it's someone's pet. And there's a woman following it, like. Oh my gosh, a little mogul. Ooh, studying airship design. I wish you the best. I feel like I just I feel like everybody was talking about me and now they just walked away. The man and Benga are acting strangely. Don't you think? Pacing the deck like that. They are look like they're playing a game of some sort to me. <laughs> I love her outfit. Their outfit? There. Their outfit. <laughs> Oh, he just yeah, that's the guy who died at that temple that we were at who died because of us kinda. What are you guys doing? They look like they're doing like a like a like a draw, you know? Like they, when you you like one, two, three, draw. What is that called? A standoff in the old west. <laughs> what are they doing? I have no idea. This is what it's like traveling amongst a variety of people. There's a variety of things that happen. So many mysteries to solve. An airship would be a perfect place for like a murder mystery. Like, oh my gosh, who is that author? Like a lady author who is like super famous for the mysteries. I can't like, oh my gosh, I cannot. She's like an old, like a older writer. Oh my gosh, it's a white, mm, it's a bunny person. It's always weird to see them in different clothes than, I'm just so used to seeing like the black leather armor, but. On Fran. Why can't I think of what she's called? So I, I keep, I don't know if he's like handing it to me. I just realized I'm not sure if the other one. Do you guys, I think they look exactly the same. I have a letter. Maybe it'll help you with this stupid guy. Trying to. Oh my gosh, that was fast. I doubt you the funds, my guy. I probably have more wealth than you and your brothers combined. Oh, I guess I need to. Oh, and they have different kinds of people. These are like the sky pirates. Like they have like local people waiting for the ships to come on or to get in port. That's such a nice little touch. I love that. How do I get out of here? <laughs> well, I think I'm going to call it here because I did not expect this episode to have as much substance. Uh, so I, I, well, hopefully it has substance. I hope you guys enjoyed the airship <laughs> excursions. Those were fun for me. Oh my gosh, I'm, the bankers are so strong. They just move you out of the way. Um, but yeah. Thank you all for joining me on this lovely airship excursion. Uh, when we get back, we'll be going to, I think, further the plot. I feel like we're getting close to the end-ish. At least the, like, uh, climax, you know? Like, we've, we've met the gods, you know? I feel like, I feel like we've got, like, an act or two 
left, you know, there's going to be a climax and then the resolution, you know, but I'm excited, so thank you all so much for joining me, I appreciate it, really quick, I want to say thank you to my patrons, to all my patrons, to especially Reese Galito, I'm going to your patron, oh wait, uh, okay, yes, I do want to say thank you to my patrons, I think something's weird has happened because I, things looked different on Patreon last night than they do today, and it might just be because it's August, uh, August 1st when I'm recording this so sometimes I think it gets a little weird um, but I am as as in most things I'm not very good at keeping up with patreon as much as I should be because people are incredibly kind to even you know to help me out with as, as much as they do so I, I do appreciate that and I, for a long time I have had people uh, like I don't like I have the acorn the, the sapling tree and forest here and for a while for until just now, I, did, I was didn't shout out the acorns, um, but you know what? You deserve it, little acorns. You deserve it, and also like there's not a lot of you, so I don't have to worry about my names, like the names being like too many, you know? Like I don't have to like spend a minute listing out a bunch of names. So I'm now gonna start saying thank you to all my patrons, to everyone, including the acorns. Thank you so so much, Adam, my friend. You've been my friend for a long time, and I appreciate your support. And Fane, who I believe potentially changed their name, because it, it says that they've been a patron for a long time. Um, but it looks like there was maybe a name change there. If I'm wrong, I am so sorry. But that's like, I will, I will be adjusting my little patron thank you end card thing accordingly. Um, so thank you for your support. And I want to give an extra special shout out to Reese Galito, my sapling tier patron. Thank you so, so much for your support. I very much appreciate it a lot. So thank you all again for supporting me on Patreon. I really do appreciate it a lot. Um, to everybody past and present who's supported me like it, on Patreon, I really do appreciate it a lot. Um, yeah, like, I don't know how it says hey, but it's like, if you, ha if you haven't, if you aren't one now, but you have been in the past, or something like that, really, I appreciate it. Uh, it was incredibly, is incredibly kind. Thank you for sharing your kindness with me. So, thank you all again for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one.